Welcome to the Smoky Mountains National Park. It's before sunrise, and I know you can't see anything because it's really dark, but uh, it's really pretty. I think we're going to get a good sunrise. So I recently had the opportunity to travel with some photography friends of mine to the Great Smoky Mountains National Park. The park lies at the far eastern end of Tennessee and it goes into North Carolina. And it's not a traditional mountains as we think of here in the Pacific Northwest. Those mountains are very, very rounded. They're very, very old. And so it's more like rolling hills. But I took the trip because it was an opportunity to get out and travel with some friends and just relax and do some photography. I hadn't planned on doing a lot of vlogging during the trip. I just wanted to get away and relax. But I did do a little bit and I did come away with some really nice photographs. So this video, I just wanted to share some of the photos that I created while on this trip. So it's about 25 degrees and I thought this was springtime and I thought we were in the south but uh, we are in the Smoky Mountains so it is going to be a bit cold. Sunrise is going to happen right over there and there's a bunch of ridges. Uh, the mountains kind of overlap one another so your first uh, instinct might be to use just like a really wide angle lens so you can get it all in one shot but I'm going to use more of a longer focal length and I'm probably going to do like a vertical um, panorama. So that way it's that longer focal length that's going to kind of bring all of those, those ridges together um, and make them just, you know, larger than life versus doing a, just a single shot at like, you know, 24 or 40 millimeters, something like that, where you capture it all in one shot, but it's just not as, it's not as, um, it's not as big in the frame. So let's get set up. Let's make a photo. So this location is pretty much, there's not a lot to, uh, to change as for composition options to go for. Uh, it's got a V shape. You can see it like right in here. And so centering that on either side is a framing element. And then you've got just your ridges of the Smoky Mountains in the background. Uh, there's not a lot of clouds, so you're going for all of the gradations in the in the sky with all the oranges from the yellows and the purples, a little bit of purple that's happening out there. And the sun is coming up now, so I'm going to grab some photos. I shot these first two photographs at longer focal lengths in order to compress the ridges in the background and because the sky was just not really the main attraction. You'll notice how blue and hazy the mountains look. This isn't haloing by HDR or overprocessing. The mountains of East Tennessee and Western North Carolina are blanketed with a smoky haze that gives the region an almost magical quality. Indeed, the Cherokee considered the mountains to be a sacred place, and they referred to it as Chicanohe, land of the blue smoke. So when the European settlers arrived, they took inspiration from the language when they named the Great Smoky Mountains and the nearby Blue Ridge Mountains. The smoke from the Smoky Mountains is actually created by a fog that comes from the area's vegetation. When vapor is released from the area's vegetation, the molecules that make up the gas scatter blue light from the sky. It's a phenomenon that creates what the Cherokee called the blue smoke. These next two photos are panoramas. Here I wanted to highlight more of the sky, so I used a wider focal length in order to include it all. The time difference between the first and the second image is just a couple of minutes. And you'll notice in this first photo that the clouds are just streaked and you get nice detail in the oranges and the yellows and the reds. And the right side is more blue. 
but just moments later the sky had changed dramatically and the clouds had kind of just merged and faded into just this nice orange blanket that just kind of was taking over the entire horizon as the sun popped up. So I included both of these because I really like both of them for different reasons. I'd love to hear what you think, so leave me a comment down below. As I was headed back to the hotel, I noticed it was snowing and frost had formed up on the higher parts of the mountain. With the fog that was rolling over the top, I just absolutely had to stop and grab a photograph. Cade's Cove is located at the southern end of the park. It's an 11 mile loop road, it's one way road that goes around through this valley and it's absolutely gorgeous. There's all these meadows, uh, it, there's old homesteads to see, there are trails to hike, and then you've got just those mountains in the background. And luckily we had some really nice weather that day with some nice puffy clouds. So here's the photograph that I captured. And lastly, no trip to the Smoky Mountains would be complete without a photograph of a black bear. So I hope you liked the video and uh, the photos that I got from the Great Smoky Mountains National Park. If you did, I sure would appreciate a thumbs up. Consider subscribing to my channel so that you don't miss a video that I release each and every Wednesday. So thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.